Today we're going to show you why 12 volt over ethernet cable over long distance is a really bad idea. Here we have a 12 volt power source and we're going into an injector. So we have 12 volts at the beginning of our run. This is a 50 foot run of Cat5. Here is a load of approximately 7 watts. PoE cameras use between 5 and up to almost 14 watts. So as I apply this load, you can see that our voltage has dropped. We now have, instead of 12 volts at the far end, we only have 9.7 volts. So we're delivering 7 watts to the far end. Current, of course, is conserved, the 0.78 amps, but we have 8.6 watts going in. So we've lost 1.6 watts in the CAT5. And we have then only about 9.7. Ethernet cable can be as long as 328 feet. If we repeat this test with a 328 foot line, the resulting voltage will be actually less than 5 volts and your camera will not work. Even the 9.7 volts at 50 feet is marginal for most cameras. That's why when we see on a camera spec is 12 volt comma PoE, what that really means is it's 12 volt when you use a wall wart, but it's 48 when powered over Ethernet. Because a loss at 48 volts is significantly less. In fact, it is the square of the current. So as we increase the voltage by a factor of 4, the loss is reduced by a factor of 16. So this is why 12 volt PoE actually is never really used and why 12 volt comma PoE on Hikvision, Dahua, all other cameras really means 12 volt on the 2.1 millimeter DC connector and 48 on the Ethernet connector.